continuing to review unit 3, uh, y is equal to x plus 3. Now we're going to solve by substitution. So we can replace y in the other equation with x plus 3, since they are equal to have the same value. So we have 3x minus 2, and then instead of writing the y, we're going to write x plus 3. Still equal to 4. Now to get rid of the parentheses here, we'll distribute. So think of that as a negative 2 being multiplied by the x. So negative 2x, and then negative 2 times 3 is negative 6. Make sure you keep that negative with the 2 as you distribute it. Combine like terms, 3x minus 2x, that's 1x, or just x. To get rid of the minus 6, add 6 to each side, and we figured out what x is. x is 10. Now to find y, we're going to take that x value and plug it back in. So we have y equals, instead of x, we can write 10 plus 3. So y equals 13. Put it together as an ordered pair, x, then y. So we have the point 10. 13. So it's intersecting lines, and they intersect at point 10, 13. Number 11, we're also solving by substitution. So instead of writing a, a y in the second equation, we can write negative 4x, replacing y with what it's equal to. And we're just copying the rest of the equation down. Now think of this as a negative 1, and distribute that, or actually just multiply, sorry. Uh, negative 1 times a negative 4x is positive 4x. Now we can combine those like terms. 6x plus 4x is 10x. To get rid of multiplying by 10, divide by 10. And so x is 3. We figured out what x is. Now we're going to plug that in to find y. So y equals a negative 4, and then instead of x, 3, multiply, you get negative 12, and so we have an ordered pair, 3, negative 12. These are intersecting lines, they intersect at the point, 3, negative 12. On this one, we don't have a variable by itself, but notice that we have coefficient of 1 on the x for the first equation. So to get rid of the minus y, we can add y to each side. And so now we have x by itself, x equals 5 plus y. Those are not like terms, you cannot combine them. So now we're going to take this expression and replace x with it. So in the second equation we'll have 4, and then instead of x, write 5 plus y. Make sure you use parentheses. To get rid of the parentheses, we'll distribute this, and so 4 times 5 is 20. 4 times y is 4y. Now we have 4y minus 4y, that's 0, it's gone, so we have 20 equal to 12. So we're solving it like normal, but our variables went away and we have a false statement. So that means we have no solution. If we were to graph these, they would be parallel lines. So no solution. And if your variables go away and you have a false statement on these, it's a no solution. 13, we have y by itself already, so we can replace y in the second equation with 2x plus 5. To get rid of the parentheses here, we'll distribute. So think of that as a negative 2 being multiplied through. Negative 2 times 2x is negative 4x. Negative 2 times positive 5 is negative 10. Now we'll combine our like terms. 3x minus 4x is negative x. Or negative 1x if you prefer to write the 1. Now to get rid of the minus 10, add 10 to each side. And so you get 25 on the right side. Negative x equals 25. To get rid of multiplying by a negative 1, we can divide both sides by a negative 1. 
and so we get x equal to 20, uh, negative 25. We found x, now we need to find y, so we'll take this and plug it back in. And so instead of x, we can write negative 25. Multiply before you add. Oops. Mm -hmm. So 2 times negative 25 is negative 50. Negative 50 plus 5 gives us negative 45 for the y value. So we have intersecting lines that intersect at the point negative 25, negative 45. You can check it by substituting it back in if you like. 14. We'll read our sentences. The sum of two numbers is 36. Sum means add. So let's let x be the first number, y be the second number. When we add our two equations together, or two uh, variables together, we get 36. The difference is 8. So difference x minus y is 8. Now the directions above here when we started said through 14 were to solve by substitution, so we'll do it that way. To get rid of the um, plus y here, we can subtract y from each side. And so we have x equals 36 minus y. So we're ready to substitute in. In place of x, put 36 minus y. And then we still have the minus y. Let me fix the colors on that. So what we've done so far is we replace this x with the 36 minus y below it. So you end up with 36 minus y minus y. We can combine those like terms, and so we have 36 minus 2y. Two-step equation from here to get rid of the positive 36, subtract 36 from each side of the equation, so we have negative 2y equals negative uh, 28. And now to divide, to get rid of multiplying by, by, yeah, negative 2, divide both sides by negative 2. And so we have y equal to positive 14. Now we're going to replace y up here with the 14. So the minus is already there, and then y is 14. Now we'll subtract those, and we get 22. So we have the ordered pair 22, 14. Fifteen, we're solving for C. This is a literal equation to get rid of the a that's being added, subtract a from each side. And so we have b plus c equals d minus a. We're trying to get the c by itself. Get rid of the b that's being added, subtract b from each side. And so we have c equal to d minus a minus b. We got the c by itself. We're done. And on the right side, we did not have any like terms, so you can't combine them. To get rid of multiplying by r squared, we're going to divide both sides by r squared. And so we have a equal a over r squared equal to pi, again, because we're trying to solve for pi here. Or you can write it with pi on the left side. So the pi is equal to the area of the circle divided by the radius squared. 17, we're evaluating x is 5. Replace x with 5, still have the absolute value, plus y, and then instead of y, we're going to write negative 3. Now, plus a negative, you may remember, is just the same as minus positive. And then inside of absolute value, 5 minus 9 gives us negative 4. Now we're ready to take the absolute value of that. Absolute value of negative 4 is 4. 4 minus 3 gives us 1. 18, we have absolute value by itself. Think about the numbers that you can take the absolute value of and get 10. So this stuff in here, the x minus 1, could equal 10, or it could equal negative 10. If you have the absolute value by itself equal to a positive number, 
you can write it as two equations, no absolute value, and change the sign on the right side on one of those equations. One step equations, get rid of minus one, add one, you get eleven. Get rid of minus one, add one, and you get negative nine. You can check it by substituting back in, but we have two solutions, eleven or negative nine. 19, we have absolute value by itself equal to a negative. There's no number that we can take the absolute value of and get a negative, so this is no solution. And then this one, this is in vertex form for absolute value graph. So you really want to start by finding your vertex. So here, with y equals absolute value of x plus 2, the h is negative 2, and then your k is 0. We don't see a number out there. So we have a vertex at negative 2, 0. So let's plot that point. So vertex at negative 2, 0. And then we'll put some other values in, and we'll go uh, maybe 2 to the left and 2 to the right. So negative 3, we'll put that in, and we'll put negative 4 in. And then on the right, negative 1 and 0. All right, so if we put in negative 4, absolute value of negative 4 plus 2. Now, it's inside of the absolute value, so combine that first. Negative 4 plus 2 is negative 2. Absolute value negative 2, positive 2. So we have a point at negative 4, 2. Sorry, my dog is um, drinking some water in the background. If we put negative 3 in, negative 3 plus 2 is negative 1, absolute value negative 1, positive 1. So we have a point at negative 3, 1. And then if we put negative 1 in, negative 1 plus 2 is positive 1, absolute value positive 1, 1. So we have a point at negative 1, 1. And then if we put 0 in, 0 plus 2 is 2, absolute value of 2, 2. So we have a point at 0, 2. Now we'll connect them and put arrows on here. So your graph would look like this. Now you can think of that plus 2, by the way, as a translation to the left 2 units from the origin. Just another way of thinking about that. Hope you enjoyed the video.